What's going on guys, Elijah Porter here. Welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, we are finally in our new house and I'm enjoying a beautiful morning. But today I am so excited, not because of the new house, but because it is new car delivery day. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Stick around and enjoy today's video. A little bit of a damper has been put on the day because it is now 12 11 in the afternoon and i still don't have the car it was supposed to be delivered at 10 30. Um, i ordered the car from carvana and i'm going to do a whole video about my experience with that but essentially for this morning at least the car was supposed to be delivered at 10 30. um at like nine o'clock this morning i got a text from the delivery guy saying that uh he was a little behind and uh, he would give me an eta when he was leaving miami with the car um, and then at 10 o'clock he texted me and said that he was loading the car up and then somewhere around 11 he told me that uh, it would be around 1 o'clock so I don't know why it's taking so long but it is but yeah it's kind of disappointing because I was really excited and uh, I've just been kind of waiting but yeah hopefully the car gets here soon. Like so much more bold than the pictures showed online. It almost looked black on the pictures. I'm glad it's a little bit more. We were filming with the drone. Let me bring it down and then we'll take it around. Manny's just a little bit shorter than I am. Pump it all up for safety. Good, I turn it on as that oil change required, but that light went away. Smells like new car still. Because I have so few miles. 901 miles. Yeah, I was checking out the car. You see? Alright, well, it seems to be all good. We get the whole week to try it out, so something's wrong with it. I figure out how to make this seat go lower. I feel like my hat should be. 
should not be rubbing on the thing. Oh, it's so slow. All right. Very good. Let's let him get on his way and then we'll go for a real drive. Before we do that, we're going to go ahead and make the first mod to the Alpha, putting in our new WeatherTech formats. Already has the buffer on Gorgeous. Definitely feels more powerful than <laughs> the Focus. It's got twice, over twice the power of the Focus thing. It actually starts moving when you hit the gas. Yeah, it doesn't shake. What the weather before has some fit with it like a little shot. Power! We have a hurricane coming, so everyone's trying to get gas. So, we're gonna try to bring this. Even though this car delivered with three quarters of a tank, it looks like. So I really don't need it, but just in case. Perfect time to get a car. Yeah. If I'd have known the hurricane was coming, I would have done a different delivery time. But this is how it worked out. There's no sunglass holder in here. That's disappointing. Mm. This is the one for the cover. Mm -hmm. It just smells like a new car. Never had a new car before. Still technically never bought a new car, I guess. I'm just gonna put in like the best gas for now because who knows like if it's been, you know, the gas I have may have been sitting and stuff. I can't believe we were able to just like roll up and get gas without having to wait. now in the alpha on my way to the detailers of naples uh, down in naples florida they are going to be uh, doing a ppf package on this car that's going to basically completely wrap the front it's going to be the hood the bumper uh, the the front quarter panels and uh i'm excited for them to do it i'm excited to get this car protected obviously i love the spec of this car i love the green paint and uh, i want it to be protected so i've got about a 40 minute drive and i'm honestly excited because that's the most i've gotten to drive the car um it was delivered on saturday and then after that on sunday um i had a couple errands to run but not a lot and i didn't want to drive the car a lot before i got the ppf done and so now uh this is my chance to drive the car the most so i'll uh, i'll check in with you guys when we get there I just discovered something amazing this car freaking drives itself i knew that it had like adaptive like speed uh adaptive cruise control but, like it literally drives itself i don't have to have my hands on the wheel it's like tesla autopilot um, i do have to put my hand on the wheel like every now and then but yeah it literally it drives itself like this is crazy like i can't get over how cool this is i guess if you have had like a new car you're not so impressed but like i haven't had a new car ever so like I've been driving for five miles and I haven't put any throttle or brake or steering input into the car at all. 
like this is it's such a novel thing for me it's so cool i mean i want to drive for the most part but this is really cool especially if you're on like a long boring road trip but uh yeah i just can't get over how cool this is Hurricane Ian really ruined the next part of this video. I had planned on being able to film some with the details of Naples on the entire PPF process. Unfortunately, when I made those plans, we had no idea Hurricane Ian would be arriving because we made the appointment weeks in advance. But Hurricane Ian did come and ended up destroying much of Southwest Florida, as you guys probably saw on the news. Now, luckily for me and my family, we live pretty far inland, and so the damage to our house was relatively minimal in comparison to what some people experienced. At one point during the storm, the winds reached 140 miles an hour at our house, and because of that, it is amazing that all we lost were some shingles, our screen porch was pretty messed up, and we were without power for a day and without water for a week, but we have nothing to complain about. People literally lost everything in this storm. I'm sure we've all seen footage of all the houses on Sanibel and Fort Myers Beach literally being destroyed, people's businesses destroyed. It's really sad, and I am really thankful that we made it out okay. Now throughout the storm we actually never lost cell signal and we were watching the news on my phone basically the whole time and we kept hearing reports of how bad the flooding was in Naples and I was worried that my brand new car was going to be floating down the street somewhere completely submerged in water but luckily the detailers of Naples did not suffer that much damage. They had power outages for a while and they were closed for a couple days but overall they were okay and my car was fine and ready just a few days later than it was expected to be. I just picked up the outfit from Detailers of Naples. They have had the car for a whole week. Um, the process really should have only taken two days, but because of the storm, they've had the car for a week. But they did an incredible job. When I was walking around looking at the car, they completely paint corrected the car. Um, they installed the Expel protection film on the front fenders, the hood, the front bumper. So the whole front of the car is now protected, and that gives me so much more confidence when driving the car on the interstate. Um, so many of my other cars are peppered with rock chips and I didn't want that to happen to this car because that green paint is just so gorgeous and really right now it looks like you could swim in it. Um, it looks like it was just painted. They did a great job on the paint correction. They did a great job on the film. I can't even really tell that the film is there uh, without looking like around the scenes um, to see you know where they actually wrapped it and yeah I'm very impressed with them. They did a great job. But yeah, we're going to be taking this car for a road trip to Asheville, North Carolina. Um, we're going to be doing some awesome stuff, going places, driving on the tail of the dragon. So for that road trip, I just feel much better about driving the car now that it's protected. But anyway, let's get home. The car and I have made it back safely to the house and of course on my way home it started to rain so now the car is filthy but that's okay they ceramic coated it and also if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I have plenty of Chemical Guys products stored up to keep this car looking great for a long time to come. Now of course this is my new daily driver and it's going to be replacing my Ford Focus but just because it's my daily driver does not mean we're not going to be doing some fun stuff with this car. Like I mentioned here in a couple weeks we're going to take this thing up to the tail of the dragon in North Carolina. That's something that I've wanted to go do for a long time and I think this car is going to be great to do that road trip in. And also in the next couple weeks I'm going to be posting a video about what my buying experience was like with Carvana while purchasing this car. So if you don't want to miss those two videos make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and helps out the channel a ton. And also go ahead and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when those videos go live. Give me your thoughts on the car in the comments down below. What do you think? What would you have bought instead if you would have gotten something else? And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.